What's up, gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. We have a new pick a card. Thanks to some of you lovelies answering my recent poll. I promise I will get to every single other um, topic to do for sure. But tonight we are going to do a three card pick a card to look into those of you that are currently in separation or no contact energetically at a distance or physically at a distance from your specific person, whether you just met and you all of a sudden everything just kind of went down the tube or you've been together for a while and you're actually in separation. Whatever it might be, we're going to have a look at it. We're going to see what maybe their feelings are right now, what they're, what's kind of going on in their head and also what they want to happen while they're going through this distance and separation from you. So before I get into any of that, I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all of the new subscribes and likes and comments. I see every single comment. Please know that I can't always reply, but I do absolutely see them. And you guys are just amazing. I love you so, so much. Um, and I just really appreciate all of the new subscribes and everything else because it's helping this channel grow very, very quickly. And the faster it grows, the faster I can get this info out to people and what I'm able to do from there is I've been able to do so many personal readings um, to really help people in certain situations that just need some guidance and closure or clarity on whatever they're dealing with and I've been fully booked for the last few weeks so I've been head over heels in love with being able to help so many people so I honestly would not be happening if it wasn't for you guys with all of your likes and subscribes so I just wanted to say thank you all right now that that is out of the way let's get into the reading so we have obviously like i said three piles first pile is the everyday witch and it is the selenite heart pile number two is the light seers tarot and it is the spirit quartz crystal and last but not least pile number three is the Enchanted Forest Tarot, and it is the Desert Rose Crystal. Okay, so as always, you guys know the drill. If you're not, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Here's the drill. <laughs> I want you to tune in to your gut. I want you to tune into your intuition, tune into your gut. Go with your first instinct. If when you clicked on this, if in the photo something was already attracting you, see if that is still valid right now close your eyes think of your person tune into their energy as well pull out a photo of them if you need to pause the video and see what crystal or deck shows up in your mind go with that one all right i will see you in a minute bye hello pile one welcome back to your reading if you are here now then you chose the selenite heart stone very very pretty okay so let's have a look at what is going on with you and this person currently in separation no contact we'll have a look at what their current thoughts might be about the situation their feelings their definitely their intentions and we'll go from there And of course, like I always say, if this does not resonate with you within the first few minutes, you'll know based on the situation that I'm feeling and pulling from the current energies. If this doesn't resonate with you, feel free to close out and pick another pile. Sometimes two piles might be valid for whatever reason. So go with your gut always. All right, one more shuffle and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Okay, Spirit, we are doing a reading for the collective. We are looking at those people who are currently in separation and no contact from their person. Spirit, what does this person feel for pile one? What are their feelings for pile one? Whoa. All right. What is this person's feelings for pile one, please? Okay. 
tell me more. What are this person's feelings for pile one currently? And let's get one more. What are this person's feelings for pile one, please? Well, you're definitely at a distance. <laughs> you are definitely in some sort of a separation at the moment. Um, some of you could potentially actually be married to this person. This could potentially be your spouse. There could have been a very recent argument, a big argument that caused this. I just heard the word big, so I'm going with it, um, that caused this and now your person is kind of just sitting back and taking a little bit of a, a break from this, from this connection. Um, I feel like in some ways they're feeling like they need to heal. Whatever happened, whatever was said, they're feeling like they need to heal from this for a minute. I think some of you, like I said, could have either been married to this person, lived together, um, dated long-term, lived together sort of a thing as well. It doesn't always have to be married. But I do not see, at least in this pile so far, I do not see like a brand new relationship that started a month ago and then all of a sudden you had a little bump in the road. It's not what I'm seeing here. This is more long-term. This is, this is a deeper connection. Um, and you guys are definitely in separation. Yeah, but let's see what they're, what do they want to happen? What does this person want to happen with pile one? What does this person want to happen with pile one? Hmm. Okay. What does this person want to happen with pile one? What are their intentions of pile one? Let's get one more. What does this person want to happen with pile one? Thank you. Okay. Well, we have the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck. All right. You could potentially be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But I will tell you that regardless of what they want, they're going to be moving very slow at this. I just heard, I'm hearing, um, that this person did not appreciate who you were to them while you were still connected or physically together or anything like that. I'm hearing that they overlooked. I keep hearing the word overlooked. Speak up spirit. <laughs> I don't know. I keep hearing overlooked. Um, they may have overlooked this connection. They may have definitely not appreciated what the two of you had and who you were to them. And I feel like you guys are definitely going to get past this hurdle, regardless of being in separation or not, because what's coming through from them is that they do want, they want to come in with some sort of an offer here. What that is, I don't know, but they want to come in with an offer. Like I said before, I think they're realizing what they had. This is one of those situations where you don't know what you... You don't know what you have until it's no longer there, sort of a thing, is what I'm feeling here. Um, 
But I think that with the world here, I feel like whatever happened is going to end in order for, and excuse me, from there, this person's going to come in with a new offer to kind of start again. But it's going to be slow moving. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. Like, ridiculously slow. Um, so I don't see it happening like that. I think there's still more time to be spent apart a little bit, especially with the moon here. And this, listen, this person is not moving at the moment. They're not budging. And they're just kind of taking a break, like I said, from this, this connection. But I do feel like now they are starting to see that you were their world, pretty much. Pretty much, pr like pretty much. This is definitely one of those situations where you don't know what you got till it's gone. And now they're starting to realize it. Slowly though, they're slowly starting to realize it, that, that you were their world. Yeah, definitely. But whoever this person is to you, they feel like you're worth the wait. So they're gonna take their they're gonna take their time. But I do not for one second think that this connection, whatever it was, the situation, I don't for one second think it's over. I don't see that here. I see there's a a brief break, pause, whatever you want to call it, but I don't think that it's over. Let's get some. Let's see what might else be going on here. Spirit, tell me more about pile one and this person. Tell me about pile one's person. Heartbroken. Yep. Yeah. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah. I definitely think that this person is not just okay with this separation here. They're not. I mean, I could see it in the cards that they're not because they don't, this isn't over. Whatever it is, it's not over. But they are, which is why I said they, they're taking the time to heal a little bit from this, whatever happened. I think whatever argument was had, um, it was a very big one. Yeah, wedding rings. A lot of you are gonna be married to this person right now and actually in separation. I have never, gotten wedding rings card so um union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise yep yeah you guys are definitely in committed sort of thing or you could have been engaged um and maybe it was one of those things where you were engaged for a while and then something happened and then now you are apart Let's get one more. Spirit, what else about pile one's person and them? The butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Yeah, I told you. It's not over. It's not over yet. I just don't see it here. I just don't. Let's get some channeled messages from this person. Let's see what they would say. Spirit, what does pile one's person want to tell them right now? What would they say to them right now if they could? I didn't expect you to ghost me. Oh. So some of you, some of you might have gone through whatever you went through, argument, whatever. And you got fed up and walked away. In which case, they are very much so starting to realize that you were their world and that, again, you don't know what you got till it's gone. This space opened my eyes and now I see I can't lose you. What did I just say? <laughs> they, it, literally, they opened their eyes. They now see what they did not appreciate before. What else would this person say to pile one, please? What does this person want to say to pile one? <laughs> I had to unfollow you because I was watching you too much and it was torture. So I'm assuming that 
this would be some sort of social media thing. Some of you that will resonate with. Maybe you saw them watching your stories for a while or your TikToks, whatever else. And now you don't see them watching anymore. Well, that's possibly why. What else does pile one person want to say to them? What else would this person say to pile one? <laughs> I'm distant right now because I don't know how you feel anymore. Hmm. Let's get one more. Come on. I know we can make this work. I'm telling you, I told you, they're not going anywhere. They're gonna be slow as molasses, but they're not going anywhere. They're realizing a lot about this connection now that you've been in separation or distant or whatever. All right, let's go and What's the potential outcome here? Where is this headed, spirit? Where is this headed for pile one? Where is this headed? Ooh. Yeah, you guys are gonna re you're gonna reconcile. You guys are gonna reconcile, and everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Rejoice in celebration and positive movement forward. Yeah, it's not over. It's definitely not over. then is that it oh no, no no let me do an oracle i'm like what do i do okay spirit what one last message do you have for pile one about this situation what's the one last message you have for pile one please number 12 a change in the wind let's have a look and see what it's all about Okay. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. <laughs> and storm, I, I'm sorry, I just have to laugh because like me and my cards, we're just, we're very, very connected. <laughs> um, and stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has, a, that's funny, it says ship, but then there's a little boat. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come for it. Like Jessica said, <laughs> take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. Can I have pentacles? This too shall pass. Well, pile one, if you wanted this person back, and this separation to end. I think you're probably really happy right now after this reading. All right, thank you so much. And if this didn't resonate with you, as always, go find another pile and see if that one does. All right, have a great one. Thank you guys. Hello, pile two. Welcome back to your reading. If you're here, then you chose the Spirit Quartz Crystal. All right, let us have a look at what is going on in your situation. And just remember that within the first couple of minutes, you should know whether this pile resonates with your situation or not. It may or may not, which is absolutely okay. So you're always free to go and select a different pile or two piles might work for you. Sometimes that happens. Okay. We'll have a look at this person's thoughts right now, their, fe their current feelings for you. Current feelings maybe about the situation. And we'll look at their intentions and what they want to happen. We'll get some channeled messages, some island time. And we'll close it out with some oracles, so. All right, spirit. 
This is a message for the collective. We're looking into those that are in current separation and no contact from their person. Whatever the situation is, tell me what is this person feeling for pile two? What is this person's feelings for pile two right now? What are this person's feelings for pile two, please? Hmm. Okay. What are this person's feelings for pile two? Let's get one more. What are this person's feelings for pile two? Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting that one. So I feel like a lot of you, this is a very specific pile. I feel like there was definitely a back and forth, more than likely an argument or multiple arguments um, between you and this person. I could tell you right now that they feel like you said some harsh things to them. They feel like you potentially even insulted them, disrespected them in some way, you slighted them. Um, I just heard put in place. Okay, so maybe for some of you, you finally put this person in their place verbally. Does that make sense? Um, There's two different options here that I'm feeling. For some of you, you and this person had the situation that I was just talking about and now they're actually I think that some of them are feeling like you are you stood your ground. You and this is going to sound weird because it shouldn't be like this in any relationship. However, um, I feel like for some of you, if you were that person that defended yourself in some way um, and put them in their place and finally put your foot down, I feel like this person is seeing you like completely come into your own. And I don't know, something shifted between the dynamic, in the dynamic there, where by you sticking up for yourself, defending yourself, not allowing this person to speak to you in a certain way or do what they normally would do, now all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, like this person is amazing. Not that it should have taken that, um, but I'm feeling very strongly that that is one situation here for sure for some of you. Another situation is that you guys could have been arguing about um, either potential cheating or somebody being a little bit sneaky or untrustworthy. Um, and that could have caused this separation and this break and, and all the things. But they, I mean, the sun came out. As far as their feelings for you, regardless of what happened, they, you make them happy they feel that you make them happy. So let's see if that's enough though. What does this person want to happen? What does this person want to have with pile two? What are their intentions with pile two? What is this person's intentions with pile two, please? Okay. Let's get some more. What is this person's intentions for pile two or with pile two? Mm, okay. You or this person you're dealing with could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Doesn't always have to be, but it definitely could be. What does this person want to happen between them and pile two? Yeah, they want a reconciliation. They want a reconciliation. They want to work on this with you. They want to start something new with you. There's going to be some type of message possibly coming in. They want to, at the very least, 
send you some, yeah, three, three of pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, they want to work with you. They want to work with you on this to kind of bridge the gap here and potentially, you know, not be in separation anymore. So let's see. Give me one more. What does this person want to happen between them in pile two? What does this person want to happen between them in pile two? What are their intentions with pile two? Okay, just be careful. I just heard karmic. This could be a karmic relationship. A spell. <laughs> the devil and the six of cups next to each other. I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure this is a karmic relationship. So you want to be very careful. Because I don't like that I was getting a vibe that how you guys speak to each other or spoke to each other and then now I see the devil. I'm not 100% sure. This person could feel very addicted to you, for sure. But I feel like this could also be a very unhealthy relationship in some way. It doesn't have to be dramatic, you know, where it's awful, awful. But it could just be where you just don't have healthy boundaries with each other. And it's this constant back and forth, back and forth um, sort of thing. Actually, I'm starting to feel that right now. Yeah, I'm hearing right now that there's a lot of this, I want to be single and then I want you again. I want to be single, but wait, come back. I want to be single, but oh, no, 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 here's, we're connected. Like I keep, I keep hearing this in my head right now. Just be careful with this situation and this person is all I'm going to say. I definitely feel it's a karmic though, like very strongly. All right, Spirit, what else do I need to know about this connection, please, with Pile 2? Oh, something just flipped. Okay, so we got Cupid's Arrow, Have Faith, Love is Coming, Surprise Invitation or Meeting, and Hesitation. What else do I need to know about Pile 2 and this person, please, Spirit? Tell me more about this connection. Tell me more about this connection with Pile 2, please. Mm, yeah. The snake. Competition. Enemy. Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. I feel like some of you are constantly having a feeling of having to look over your shoulder with this person especially with the devil here. Tell me something else about this connection, please. <laughs> I'm taking both. what I tell you? what I tell you? Can't make this up. Karmic relationship, I told you. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, lessons for sure in this type of a situation. I just feel like it's constantly happening, constantly. And then there's mask. Yep. Not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. I'm telling you guys, my cards don't lie. <laughs> they just don't. I knew the second I saw that, it had to have been a karmic connection. And then spirit was telling me in my head that you guys, that this is not the first time. But I feel like for some of you, you and this person gotta be, you gotta watch how you speak to each other. I'm, I'm hearing this right now. You gotta watch how you speak to each other. All right. Spirit, what is the potential for this situation? Where is this headed? Where is this potentially headed with pile two? Where is this potentially headed with pile two? Yeah. Number seven, patience and planning.
Good things come to those who wait. This card signifies the qualities of patience and letting go of control. You should now pause, rest, assess, and rethink what's in front of you before, before continuing. The number seven physical card reminds you to reevaluate the goals that you're seeking, your finances, and even your relationships. Take the time to review each area one by one, for there is no rush when you're planning for a successful future. As you pause during this period, notice what has worked well for you in the past, not what you or others believe to be true, but in actual positive experiences. While you're at this reflecting stage, you can stand back and plan how you're going to handle potentially difficult, complex decisions and situations that may arise in the future. Well, there you go. All right, let's get... Spirit, what message do you have for pile two? What do they need to know from you right now about this situation? I'm not wanting to flip. Number 42, chop wood. Number 42. Okay. Nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple. Just be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. Okay. I definitely, this isn't over. This is definitely not over. This person does want to work on things with you. They, I feel like they're coming in with some sort of a new offer. Um, and what that will be, I don't know. It's probably, hey, can we, can we work this out? I mean, you know, but they definitely are planning to do that. They have not given up on this connection. No. Uh, Spirit, what would Pile 2's person say to them right now if they could? I pushed you away because I was confused. You are a goddess or a god. Take that how you will. What would Pile 2's person say to them if they could? The journey was never easy, but it was worth it. I feel that's very... <laughs> very familiar with a uh, a karmic definitely what else would pile two's person say to them if they could ah. whoa i know we can make this work and i took advantage of your love and thought you would always be there yeah that's exactly what they thought all right pile two so like i said i don't think this is over by any means um just be careful with how you guys talk to each other what you put up with in this situation um and yeah i think all will be well deal with this space right now i think you all need i think you both need it for sure all right um if this did not resonate with you obviously you are always free to pick another pile feel free to do so at this time and if it did as always, let me know in the comments below. would love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much. And if you have ideas for another pick a card, let me know in the comments too. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome back to your reading. If you chose Pile 3, then you chose the Desert Rose Crystal and the Enchanted Forest Tarot deck. All right. So we're going to have a look at what is currently going on with your person that you're currently in separation with, whether you are in actual separation and you're married and all that stuff, or you are dating and just on a break. Either way, there's gonna be a situation that is no contact um, and energetically, physically, or emotionally at a distance. So we'll look into what they are currently feeling about you and this situation and then we'll also look at um their intentions and that was a terrible break <laughs> we'll look at their intentions and what they possibly want to happen while they're in this break and we'll go from there and as always you'll know within the first couple of minutes whether or not the cards coming up and 
intuitively what I'm getting from spirit, whether or not that resonates with you. If it does not, feel free to always just click out and go to a different pile. If you were already being pulled to a different pile, there might be a message for you in this one and another one. So, all right, let's see what's going on. Spirit, this is a message for the collective. We are looking at pile three in separation from their person. What are this person's feelings for pile three right now? What are this person's feelings for pile three? Okay. What are this person's feelings for pile three right now, please? Oops, something just jumped. Ooh. Okay. What are this person's feelings for pile three right now, please? You guys are definitely at a distance here. This is definitely coming through with something pretty big happened here. Something pretty big happened. And this person is now, um, clearly, I mean, as the cards came through, we have we have the, the King of Wands. We have the, the Folly or the Tower reversed. Um, suspension reversed, which is the Hangman. And then we also have the Hermit. So like... You guys are at a, at a significant separation break right now. Um, so initially what I'm getting is that, well, first of all, you could potentially, potentially be dealing with um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but their feelings for you with King of Wands is, or Keeper of Spells, they have a lot of passion for you. Um, For some of you, I just heard that this was a very fiery, passionate, f like, fight. A very fiery, passionate fight or argument. Um, but the more that I look at this, the more that I'm feeling like some of you are dealing with someone who is very much so over the top. I feel like... I feel like either they are playing the victim in this or they feel that you are in this case. With the hermit though, right now they're not moving. They're not, I'm not sure yet what the other cards are gonna show as far as their intentions go. I'd be very surprised if they were good um, based on the cards I'm seeing here. But I'm telling you right now, I feel like this specific situation for some of you Spirit is saying very loud and clear in my head right now, and I am hearing this. You guys do not speak the right way to each other. Somebody... There's a lot of fiery, hurtful words here. Hurtful words, passionate, but in a, in a bad way. Um, just a lot of fire in here in this in this energy for me and i feel like if there was an argument or a fight in some way shape or form that it was bad it was definitely um something that was really hurtful really hurtful i almost get a sense that the person that i'm trying to tune into right now for some of you is I feel like a lot of this person, I feel like can just spit fire in a very bad way. I also feel for some of you, there's a lack of respect here from this person to you. I feel like they do not respect you the way that they should. I don't normally pick that up in readings, but I'm feeling it very strongly in this pile, very strongly. But whoever we're, Whoever we're dealing with here, whoever I'm picking up on right now, is brutal in how they speak sometimes. Brutal. I 
I also feel for some of you that this person knows that this relationship is pretty much over, but they're not, they're not seeing the reality of it right now. But I feel like, I feel like you guys fight sometimes for no reason. There's a lot of feisty. It's like one of those situations where you guys will fight just to have like an amazing makeup sex sort of thing. Or like you get off on fighting sometimes. As ridiculous as that sounds. You'll know. If you just if you just heard me say that and you listened to that and you sat here watching this right now and you were like, shit, she's good. And that's you. That's you. That's your situation. Yes. 100% your situation. We got the three of challenges at the bottom. That's the three of swords. There's major heartbreak here. Major heartbreak. It's a breakup. That's why I'm saying I don't know if it's going to come back. But let's see what this person wants. And I'm not going to lie to you. Please know that. I'm not going to be here. If I see someone's an asshole in a reading, I'm not going to be like, oh, you know what? This person, you and this person will be perfect. I'm never going to say that. I'm never going to say that if spirit is screaming in my ear, which spirit is at the moment. And I can't even think straight right now because there is so much fire and so much like built up, pent up energy. I actually am feeling very overwhelmed right now by this person. I just need to breathe for a second because I. I could feel it though. I could feel it. Let's see what they want. What are this person's intentions of pile three? Mm. Weaver of challenges, queen of swords, queen of swords. What are this person's intentions of pile three, please? Five of challenges reversed, five of swords. What does this person want to happen between them and pile three? What do they want to happen between them and pile three? Hmm. Okay. And then we got the wheel at the bottom. All right, so, like I said, this person can be brutal and cold with how they speak and how they treat you sometimes for some of you. Not, this is not going to resonate with everybody. If you're like, oh my God, no, what are you talking about, Jess? Your person is, my person is amazing. Like they would never, okay, well then this is not for you. Thankfully, it is not for you. But for the ones that this is for, this is very clear here for me. This person can be very sharp with their tongue when they speak. When we have the Queen of Swords here with what they want to have them with you, they don't want to tell you right now. They're observing. They don't, they just want truth and honesty pretty much. That's really all that they're looking for in whatever the situation might have been. But the Queen of Swords, and I'm a Queen of Swords. I mean, it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I get it. And I definitely have a sharp tongue sometimes. I de like, like thorns, okay? But, but this person, man, I just, I don't normally, it's been a while since I've done a reading where I've picked up the energy so strong where I actually like have to stop and take a breath for a minute. You know what? Here's how I feel about this person. For some of you, I feel like this person just has this type of energy where they just get you fired up. Like you could be going around, you could be in the bathroom doing your makeup and then this person just, you feel that energy coming down the hall and you know something's going to happen now. Like it, that's how I feel with this person. I, I mean, 
Oh man. Okay. All right. So, okay. This person definitely, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it right here. These cards are very, very clear here. This situation, there's still a lot of anger involved here. They're, they're still angry. They're still not, they're not over this yet. Like as far as like, oh, let's make things work. I don't see that happening right now. I do not see that happening at the moment, if at all ever. Um, Cause they got their guard up. Something, whatever happened, they got their guard up. And they're definitely feeling defensive towards you. And I feel like they're just watching the situation from afar and just like, they're not emotionally involved right now. They have definitely stepped back emotionally. As fiery as they can be, they've stepped back emotionally and they're just kind of just keeping their distance at the moment. The Four of Boons reversed, this is the Four of Pentacles in a normal deck. The Four of Pentacles reversed is about letting go. On the very rare chance that this is positive for some of you, which I really hope it is, although if it is, I strongly would like to say that you need to put this person in their place or just move on because I don't like this energy here. I don't like it. Um, I'm just not, I'm not feeling this person. Uh, so with four of pentacles reversed on the very off chance, this is a positive card. It could be about letting go of the anger, letting go of the arguments, the, the friggin, you know, like the hate and just whatever, all that built up energy and resentment and just kind of just letting your heart sort of open again. For most of you though, this is going to be out, be about letting go of this, the relationship, letting go of this situation. I want to see what, let me go to Island time. Ooh. Let me go to Island time. I want to see what's coming through. And I apologize for getting so, mm. I feel feisty right now because of this. I can't even explain it to you. It's crazy how, oh, I hate when that happens to me. All right. Uh, Spirit, tell me about pile three and this person. Tell me more about this connection with this person with pile three. What else do I need to know about this connection, please? What else do I need to know about this connection with pile three? Ugh. Mm. Well, that wanted to flip out. Yep. That's what I was feeling. Okay. So we got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I just heard in my head that some of you are better off. So take that how you will. Don't come for me. I'm just telling you what spirit tells me. Tell me something else about this connection, please, with pile three. What else do they need to know? What do I need to know? Yeah. We got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. And we also got self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, I, I'm getting a very strong feeling that many of you need to do some shadow work and need to really heal yourself from this situation. Very much so. Let's get some messages from this person. God only knows what the hell they want to say. All right. Maybe they'll be nice. Let's see. Um, Spirit, what does Pile 3's person want to say to them right now? What does this person want to say to Pile 3 right now? Oh, something flipped, I think. Yeah. <sighs> I can't imagine my life without you in it. What else is this person? I can't live without you. Yeah, this is a... This is one of, I feel like this is one of those, was it pile one or pile two? Felt, felt very similar in that case. You guys might want to check the other piles. Um, there might be a message for you in there, but this feels like 
like I love you, I hate you sort of thing. Like I said, you guys, in some cases, some of you, you get off on this this fighting and everything. I'm just, just, I just feel it. What else does this person want to say to pile three, please? Come on. I know I messed up. What do you want? What else do they want to say to pile three? What just flipped? What just flipped? Nothing just flipped, okay. What else would this person say to pile three right now if they could? No. Mm. I can't do this anymore. The other one that came up was your intuition is 100% right and always was. Whether that intuition was about the person, the situation, I don't know, but that's an interesting one to get. Okay. Let's see what might potentially, potentially, come on here. Where is the situation potentially headed for pile three? Essentially, that's what's going to be happening with this pile three here. I just heard that some of you know that this is over already. Some of you already know. Oh, I don't even want to upload this. I hate, I hate things like this. I hate it. Let me get a message from Spirit, though. Spirit, what do you want Pile 3 to know about this situation right now? All that glitters, number 16. All that glitters. This is a signal to walk away from what you're con- Yep, moving on. This is a signal to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. I'm so sorry guys, but the feelings that I was getting intuitively throughout this entire pile, the fact that this is confirming now what I was physically feeling. All I'm gonna say is that tarot is not set in stone before I finish reading this. Tarot is not set in stone and you are free to do whatever you want. But if I may, just be careful moving forward in this situation. I don't mean anything dramatically bad is going to happen, but I just mean that you can be 1000% changed because of this person and not in a good way. Not in a good way. You need to care about yourself first. And I feel like many of you in this situation do not. And please don't come for me about that. I'm, I'm, listen. I'm just gonna give you <laughs> what I'm feeling, all right? Okay. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Pursuing it will only bring about a difficult situation you will be sorry you got yourself into. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. Okay then, pile three. I love you guys to pieces. I'm sorry this couldn't have been a happier reading for you. Um, I really do not want to upload this, but I have to, I have to, I'm obligated to. So, um, if this didn't resonate with you all, with you at all, obviously pick a different pile, of course. And if you have ideas that you'd like to see me do for topics for other pick a card readings, feel free to leave those in the comments below. As always, let me know in the comments as well if any of this resonated with you. These were some very specific things for Pile 3, so not all of you will have resonated, but there will be some of you where I basically told your story. I feel this right now. I, I feel it clear as day. So let me know in the comments if that's the case. And again, I'm so sorry that it wasn't a happier pile. 
Um, I don't usually get terrible piles like this, but this was this was definitely something. <laughs> this was a pile. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you as always. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.